Hi, water signs. So this is your couple's reading for not all water signs in one lump, but we're going to do Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what the fuck. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's start with Scorpios. Oh, by the way, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a little timestamp in the bottom so you don't have to watch the other signs that don't apply to you um, in the description box. Okay. So Scorpio, what kind of energy are you putting out into your relationship in the month of February? And they're like, not like this kind of energy, like you're not super confident. Like you're more, um, or you're not very enthused about the relationship. You're more concerned with like the day-to-day -day kind of living aspects of your committed relationship. And you're more concerned with like planning for the future um, in terms of you know, where are we going to be financially? Where are we going to live? Instead of like, yeah, let's throw a big wedding party, you know, like the, the enthusiasm, the excitement there, your partner's not seeing that. And so to be cognizant of it and maybe try to fake it till you make it or, um, to let them know that you are excited about certain things in your relationship would be very helpful because that could hurt their feelings. Now your challenges are, um, to keep that focus on the very long term, on the practical things while balancing out this kind of excitement energy that you need to let them know about because your partner might be this type of person or at least in the energy this month where they're wanting things to be fun and light and exciting and you're like but it's one or the other you know um scorpios can be very much like that it's black or it's white it's one or the other there's not a mixed up gray area it's this or it's that right and so um it's going to be a challenge but you kind of got to find that area so there's that what are the steps through it specifically um and they're like you might have to just give a little and kind of let your partner dominate this month in regards to like what they want to do you know you might be really pushing, pushing, pushing to um, achieve a certain goal. You know, maybe you want to buy a house together. Maybe you want to start saving for, for retirement. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe you want to buy uh, life insurance. <laughs> you know, maybe you want to start working out, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday together as a way to bond. Whatever this is, maybe you're just focused on your own career. But they're like, you kind of just have to be a little bit more spontaneous and go with the flow because your partner's really going to suffer if you don't. And that's going to make you suffer, <laughs> you know, because you're in this together and you're going to hear them bitching and you're going to hear them complaining that they feel unloved or they don't feel cared about or, you know, that maybe they're afraid you're not attracted to them anymore. And so you maybe in the month of February, you kind of just have to get on that bandwagon, even though it's not exactly what you want. You can come back to what you want in March. There's only like what, like this month is short. So there's like 15 more days left in this month. It's not that much. You can do it for two weeks. Okay. Um, what should your focus be on in your relationship in order to improve it? And they're saying that emotional balance, giving and taking. Um, try not to lose your cool. Yes, what you need is important too. And it can be the most important thing in two weeks from now. But for these next two weeks, Try to just be a little bit more light and spontaneous and fun and adventurous and sexual, which shouldn't be hard for you. Sexiest sign in the zodiac. Okay, Cancer, what's going on with you guys? What energy are you putting out to your partner? Um, it might be a little bit like, okay, we've got to scale this back a little bit. We've been having too much fun. Or um, maybe you just feel like a, a little bit depressed, you know, like things are boring. Um, but you know what? It's like you're taking comfort in that, okay? Your your partner's seeing like, okay, how do I describe this? Because it's kind of conflicting. It's like, it's like you're putting out this energy that you don't want to party, you don't want to have fun, stuff like that, because things associated to that can be destructive and they can be a distraction and they can be unhealthy. But then at the same time, you're like, you know what? I want to have fun, <laughs> right? So you're kind of... um this very challenging person for your partner to read this month because you're thinking like, okay, there's all these things I want to do and there's challenges for me to achieve these different goals and I want to work hard and I know that I can get there and yeah, it's challenging. So I just have to focus on this and kind of like leave this other stuff behind. But then you can't really bitch though 
that you're not having fun because you've already declared, this is what I want to do. I want to work hard. I want to focus. So your partner doesn't know what to do with that, right? And this is all probably internal stuff that maybe you're just like venting and you don't need them to do anything about it, but they want to do something about it. They want to fix it for you. So maybe you just need to explain that, right? Um, the challenges otherwise are just, you know, feeling super confident about what you're doing that the steps that you're taking are making you more secure and being comfortable with where you're at as opposed to having anxiety about how you're going to achieve X, Y, Z. And I think that a lot of these things that you're trying to achieve are probably not even related to your love life. They're probably more related to your work life, which in some ways is potentially related to your love life. But they're saying like these internal stressors and and kind of feeling like, oh, I know what I want, but I don't know that now's the right time, or I've got to focus, but then the stress of focusing is really hard. Like that, all that is spilling over to your partner. And so they're like, if you could just like chill for a second, <laughs> if you could take your focus off of all of that, all, all, over all the reasons why something is hard, okay? And look at all the reasons why it isn't that would be good. And it would make your partner feel a lot more comfortable too, because they're trying to, um, even though you're an empath, because you're a water sign, it's like they're trying to adopt some of those empathic qualities that you have too, and really connect with you on your level. And they're like, what the fuck, what the fuck? And they're panicking internally a little bit because they don't know how to help you. It's like, if they give you advice, it's fucked up because you are able to handle things on your own and you know what you're doing and you don't need that from them. But if they don't give you advice or comfort, then all of a sudden they don't seem loving or caring, right? That's their fear. So um, you're going to have to figure out a way to deal with that. Now, what should your focus be in your relationship in the month of February? And they're saying like slow but practical moves, okay? And then just feeling really confident and good about yourself and knowing that things are going to be wonderful for you. Whatever these goals you're trying to achieve, you already know you can achieve them. Um, but you do have a little bit of stress and anxiety. So I would recommend for you maybe a, like a root chakra or a sacral chakra meditation. It seems like in the month of February, the majority of um, energy healings that I've done here at my home for clients or um, a lot of private readings have all required some serious sacral chakra work. It's like the theme of February. Now looking at Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, here's your deal. Straight out the gate, they wanted to talk about, um, you know, it might be a little bit challenging to focus on the positive aspects. You might have some things that maybe didn't go right in your relationship, maybe some disappointments that you have in your partner or in yourself. And it's like, that's a bigger focus than the things that are good. And so um, it's a challenge to focus on the things that are good, but you definitely want to make an effort to do that because the energy that you're putting out there is that you're indecisive and that yes, you do want the same things that your partner does, but that you have very different ideas on how to achieve it, okay? And that when they want to approach you about that and maybe work out a compromise, you're like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know. Like you're just not ready to make any decisions. And that's very frustrating for them, especially if they are um, a more fixed sign where they just like need you to boom, make a choice. <laughs> and so that will always maybe be a struggle with the Pisces. But um, that's kind of the energy you're putting out there for your partner is like indecisiveness. And that can hurt their feelings because they might start to feel like you're indecisive about the relationship when really it's not the relationship that you're indecisive about. It's a how to proceed in the relationship. What are the next things? And so what they're saying is your challenges are to stay focused on the things that you actually desire on the things that you actually want, because we might have a tendency in the month of February to kind of go backwards and look at the things that we don't want and therefore draw more of those in per the law of attraction. Things are pretty good in your relationship this month and so focus on those things on the things that are wonderful um or on the things that are okay okay not on the things that are wonderful because wonderful things are coming that's what this is saying they're what these wonderful things are coming should you believe that and should you fucking make up your mind but what they're saying is that um things are good 
Maybe they're not amazing, but they're good. So focus on that so more good flows in, all right? Now your area of focus is to really feel your feelings, to sort those out and then communicate them. And communicate them in a way that your partner is able to understand them. Because we have this indecisiveness. And so you've just got to decide that you want to decide and then make the decision and communicate it in a very loving way. Because ultimately, you don't want to be single, right? You don't. You want to stay with your partner. You're just sick of arguing. But you're going to continue to have this argument because they're going to continue to bring it up until you make a decision, until you address it. And so you can decide that, you know what, for the next 15 days of February, I'm just going to carry this shit around. I'm just going to like let them build up resentment and I'm going to let them continually be irritated with me because I didn't decide. 15 days. That's a long time. <laughs> so you know what? After you watch this video, maybe take one or two days, but then make a fucking choice because they they can't handle it. You're hurting your relationship, whereas you think you're just like buying time or um, you're helping yourself, <laughs> but really you're helping no one because they're going to get irritated with you and that's going to hurt you. So they're like, it doesn't have to be a dramatic thing. Just like the slightest decision, okay? And you feel like it's an unlucky circumstance. Like no matter what you do, it's going to feel wrong or it's going to feel unfair. But it's a decision that you're making to feel that way. They're like, so instead, because you have these fears, kind of like if you watch the cancer part um, I was talking about, we... February seems to be kind of this month of a lot of people needing sacral chakra meditations and things like that, getting that energy cleared out in a lot of the um, energy healings I've done in my home this month. Almost all of them have been very, uh, like the sacral chakra is the most fucked up chakra and in personal readings as well too. Um, I've been sending a lot of links to sacral chakra meditations because that's where a lot of us are suffering this month. And so if you can get rid of these fears, um, in February, you're going to see that your relationship is going to go much, much better. Okay? So that is your February reading for water signs, and see you next time.